Well, it's great to be live with you today for today's Lunch and Learn. Are you ready to learn? Come on, tell me. If you are, would you just take a moment to say hello? I'd like to uh, queue up today's Lunch and Learn. We're going to do a focus on SEO today. Oh, I better turn off that phone. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a, a little more focus on SEO. I want to show you a free tool that's going to blow your mind uh, that was developed by a colleague of ours and so proud of him and what he's doing for the industry. But if you are watching on the live stream, would you be so kind as to say hello? And uh, I'm just going to get uh, my deck and all together. I mean, I got a great... Uh, deck that I put together for today's uh, live stream and let's just see how that deck is going to play. Let's play it as a, uh, we, we can definitely play it in a different way. Let's see, set up the show. Let's do it as an individual window. That could be better for me. Play from start. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Share screen and we'll do application. Boom. All right. Okay. Who's here? Uh, Kay is here. Roman here. Robert. Dina. Great. Uh, is everyone ready to learn today? And if you are ready to learn, uh, and if you um, work at a business that has a website that you're focused on local SEO, obviously a lot of the work I do is in automotive, but our low caliente division works outside of automotive. So uh, today is our focus on SEO and a little few moments on uh, GMB. Let me uh, go ahead and share my screen with you. How is that? Let's, uh, let's uh, focus that, make sure everything looks good. Yeah. Okay, great, great. We are doing great. So uh, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, SEO. Is anybody interested in SEO? I, I want to really just give some practical advice, especially for people in the automotive industry that are a little confused, maybe wondering why their local search isn't so strong. And as I was doing some reviews, I, I do audits of dealership uh, marketing strategies on a regular basis. And most dealers are just blown away with some of the easy things that I see as we get ready to help them. Um, it would be great to let me know, are you working in the automotive field or not? If you are, if you want to be a guinea pig, I'll, I'll take some volunteers for sure. Before we get into today's Lunch and Learn, just want to remind everyone that my latest book is now available. And this is a follow-up from a book that I published two years ago with Thomas Gage on digital retailing. And this is truly a remote retailing, modern retailing playbook. And that is available online for you to purchase. Hey, super excited about the three-day event, the 16th and 17th and 18th in November. Man, we are lining up some amazing content and speakers. Who, who's excited about the AAA Summit? And if you haven't been following that, I just want to give an update. On the third day, we're going to have also three international countries live streaming in language to their markets as part of the overall conference experience. So people who want to see what's going on in other countries can watch uh, the speakers. Also, the people from international destinations will be able to see the first two uh, days of the conference in English. Good morning, Jordan. So we have Mexico, Italy, and Holland, in addition to the U.S., that is going to be live streaming on the third day. So super excited and uh, an amazing opportunity for dealers to get the latest updates in technology. We have these face-offs. So we're going to have uh, six top digital retailing platforms, basically just showcasing in their own words what differentiates their platforms, and then we're gonna open it up to dealer questions. Same thing with marketing automation. Who has the best tech for automotive marketing? We're gonna give each company 10 minutes to present their best foot forward. Same thing with video marketing platforms and OTT, and also an update on automotive website platforms. It seems to be that dealers are, hmm, maybe over websites, but I'm gonna tell you there's some breakthroughs in website technology that we need to address. 
And anyone who purchases a ticket this month will also get my Google My Business course, which is the complete optimization course for sales and service included. So it's like going to the conference for free or getting this um, great online course for free and dealers love it because it's very specific to automotive. Um, I also want to let you know that there's been a lot of talk about OTT, Amazon as an advertising platform and their exclusive content on Prime Video. And I just want to let you know that uh, I've been doing a lot of research over the last 18 months on OTT. So if you do have questions, uh, reach out to me because there's a lot of breakthrough solutions out there today. And of course, we're going to be talking about them in November. But if dealers are looking for a new way to really close the year strong, anybody raise their hand and say, I want to close the year strong uh, using a unique or targeted OTT strategy, please uh, reach out to me. Um, as you know, 15 years ago, I founded PCG Digital. We're a full service digital agency. And as I mentioned, I do audits all the time for our dealers and give them insights on how to get better. Um, before we jump into today's lunch and learn topic, I just wanna let you know that uh, it's more and more common now when you're starting a new uh, Google ads campaign for a dealer, these trademark forms have to be filled out. Google's really um, pushing more and more on that. So if the ads contain Ford or Chevrolet or Audi or others, make sure that you know that these uh, trademark forms could slow your turn up. So make sure that as part of your startup process, you're aware, and it, it probably applies more and more to other areas as well. Good morning, Wes, good morning, Rick. Man, I'm ready to share. Also, I just wanna let you know that uh, please check your Google My Business listings. There's a lot of new changes going on that are really important and uh, it seems that every time I go in lately, there's some other things that need to be fixed or changed or added. So don't uh, miss that opportunity. Okay. Now, before I go into SEO, would anybody like a, a mind blowing tool, like a really mind, a free, but how about free and mind blowing? Anybody like raise their hand and say, I want a free mind blowing tool. Well, my good friend, George Nenny from Generations Digital uh, published a free Chrome extension called GMB Spy, GMB Spy. And you can just Google it, GMB Spy, and load up the Chrome extension. Would you like to see it live? I mean, it's really, really cool. Um, and maybe somebody can give me like their local city or something. Maybe, you know, we, you could do that and um, we, can, we can do that. I, I wanna show you GMB Spy in real time. So let me share uh, my Chrome tab there we go. So I'm going to share my Chrome tab with you. Okay. And uh, I want everyone to, to see that. Can everyone see that? Okay. Um, what I did is I just said four dealers near me, right? I can do this and, and, and let's just do a different one. Uh, I'm going to do, um, let's just say BMW dealers near me. And here's BMW. So you could just pick like this one BMW dealer. Okay. Up. Uh, in the upper right hand corner, I have the GMB spy and look how cool this is. So Brayman um, has no clue that their Google My Business listing is screwed up. Um, you're supposed to have 10 categories, right? So you should be BMW dealer, which is correct, and car dealer and used car dealer, but they are a truck dealer, right? They, there's no SUV category, so trucks. They're a used truck dealer, they're car finance, they're leasing and loan. Oh, you mean they should be having 10 categories? Yeah, let's go to BMW of Delray, right? I'll click on GMB Spy. Oh, another BMW asleep at the wheel. Oh, come on, look at this. Uh, Toyota dealers near me, let's do that. There's a lot of them. Let's look at Southern 441. I hit GMB Spy. Oh, darn. These guys are sleeping to wheel. They got their parts categories messed up. Look, Toyota dealer, auto parts store, auto repair shop, car deal. Oh, they're missing truck dealer. They're missing used truck dealer. They're missing car loan and finance. You see, they're 
uh, service center, if I clicked on their service center, okay, um, and I clicked on GMB Spy, okay, they got all those right. See, there's 10 there. But their main, their main listing is so messed up, right? Now, uh, one of the other things, I love this, uh, Earl Stewart Toyota is so smart. Remember, they're one of the few dealers that I found in the whole country that are promoting their Google My Business listing. Uh, King Hyundai is doing that as well. I talked about this, that, uh, but let's look at a few other. Here's Palm Beach Toyota. Let's see, total screw up. Earl Stewart, let's see, GMB Spy. Um, oh, much better. Look at that. They they have an even delivery service. Um, let's look at Al Hendrickson, Toyota, GMB Spy, car dealer. Okay, good, 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 good. They're just missing. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're just missing two. Um, is anybody else excited about this? Is 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 anybody anybody? Oh, are you saying, oh, you can't see the spy? Oh, is that what you're saying? Oh, we can't see the pop-up window. Okay, let's see if I can fix that. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to stop screen sharing, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to show my entire screen. Isn't that funny how I can do that? Okay. All right. Now, all right, here we go again. So GMB spies up here on the corner. So let's just do something like, um, uh, Lexus dealers near me. Sorry. All right. And I'm going to pick Lexus of Palm Beach. There it is. And then I click on the GMB spy and look, Lexus dealer, auto parts store, fail, repair shop, fail, car accessories, fine. Car dealer, used car dealer. Oh, come on. How about JM Lexus? They're a big, they're a big one. They, they have to have it right. Right. Let's see. Oh, crap. Oh, look at that. They got auto body shop, auto parts, auto repair. Man, where, where, oh man, they just don't have it right. Whew. That is so funny. So uh, think about that. Could everyone see it? Did everyone see it now? When I share the screen, the GMB spy, all you do is go right into map listings. You can inspect your competitors' uh, GMB categories. Now, if you're in part of a large dealer group, do you see how much faster that is to quickly inspect instead of logging in the GMB and clicking on info? Can I get an amen from anybody? Can, can, you know, I know we're on a slight delay, but wasn't that cool that I could just use the GMB spy, look at any dealer in my local market? And what if a dealer was ranking ahead of you? If you follow George Nenny on LinkedIn, you'll see that um, he's been doing this with the fast food industry, showing that like chicken wings is really important category. Uh, so, okay, good. Paul Sor, Joshua, you know, like even if we wanted to, right? Even if we wanted to do, do maybe we'll do one more. Okay, because some people seem to be a little slow here. Uh, let's do, watch this, let's do uh, Ford, Ford dealers in Texas. There we go. Okay, so here's five star Ford, and I'm gonna go GMB Spy, Ford dealer, auto repair shop, fail. Sam Pax, five star, let's see, GMB Spy, fail. Cook Ford. Oh, this is pretty good. Ford dealer, car dealer, truck dealer, use car dealer, truck. Yeah, see, this is good. So Cook Ford understands the power of Google My Business. Heartland Ford, fail, one category. Randall Reed's Park City Ford of Dallas. Let's see. Fail. He got, oh, yeah, he's a car wash. Yeah. I'd rather have car wash than truck dealer. I'd rather have uh, auto parts store than used truck dealer in Texas. Yeah. Said no one ever. Said no one ever. Is, is anybody else, like, uh, pretty excited about GMB Spy? Great uh, job, George Ninny, and um, I'm sorry that we couldn't figure out about the spy. Okay, now, uh, do you mind if we go back to uh, the SEO conversation for a minute? Any questions so far on the GMB spy? I, I just want to make sure we're, we're all good. All right, um, let's go to uh, this PowerPoint slide, and we'll, and we'll share that. Okay, so uh, GMB spy, awesome. Now, I want you to think about your local SEO for a minute. 
okay? And uh, the, one of the reasons why I'm talking about this topic is number one, a lot of people forget that I started in SEO, right? I mean, I've probably been one of the longest running people focused on automotive SEO. It's been 15 years. You know, when I started, it was JD Rucker and others, and probably Tim Martell and myself, maybe a few others have literally been passionately talking about uh, automotive SEO strategies. But I want you to think about something because the Lunch and Learn is, is really designed to push your thinking a little bit more about this. When you think of, um, yes, by the way, the GMB Spy is a Chrome extension. Just Google GMB Spy. And if you use Chrome like I do, it's a free extension. Then the only thing you need to do is pin that extension so it shows up in your toolbar. That's it. Okay. So I want you to think about this. What is really stable on your website? Can you think about this for a minute? We have all this inventory coming in and we're selling cars. So if you think about your website, you have tremendous change going on, right? So you have uh, a lot of pages being generated or VDPs from the inventory coming in, but just as many killing or dying. Has anybody thought about this? You want to take a guess. How many static pages are on your website? Now, you're running a multi-million dollar business. Okay? Let's just be clear what you're doing. You're running a multi-million dollar business. You have millions of dollars of cars on the floor plan. Would, would you be so kind as just to help me here for a minute um, in the comments? How many static pages are on your website? When I say static pages, that they're not a VDP or an SRP, those change all the time, right? So based on inventory, you have cars coming in and you're selling cars. And I want you to think of your website, almost like a turnstile, like just keeps on spinning, 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 spinning. On any one day, you have a certain number of dynamic pages that die, they die, literally die when the car is sold. And then you have static pages, pages that, like the home page is a static page. Okay. So for everyone on the live stream, tell me how many static pages are on your website. So Michelle is guessing, uh, and that's good, uh, 10 as a, a general guess. Anybody else? Have you ever really thought of your website like that? Okay. I would say average dealer has 10 to 12. Rick, uh, you know, that's the number pretty much that I use, okay? So I just wanna be clear that, um, what does it look like? These are, uh, Robert says uh, 10 to 20. Now 20 Robert would be a little bit on the high side. Now what are common static pages? A home page, hours and directions, an about us page, a service scheduler, but here's the thing, it's framed in, so there's very little content or quality content that Google would respect. The trade in form, which is typically iframed in. So true car trade is iframed in, KVB is iframed in. The only one that isn't iframed in is trade pending, as far as I know. You have finance application, iframed in. Again, anything that's framed in, the page is pretty much worthless uh, because there's not a lot of content on it. Um, then your service specials typically are graphics, right? Graphics with some very fine print. Uh, but a kind of a jumble of things. And then you have your new car specials page, typically a list of cars, your used car specials. It's just another SRP, right? And it changes what's on that page, changes dynamically. And then uh, maybe your OEM offers. And oftentimes you've seen this, right? That the OEM offers or the OEM incentives page are graphics as well. Uh, you know, dealer teamwork does a really great job of building, uh, actual specials pages with uh, content for uh, manufacturer, new car specials and leases. But then there's some possible static pages. You may have a model carousel where you have a page for each new model. And then you may, you may have some service landing pages like for an oil change, brakes and tires. But most dealers don't have more than five service pages and this is a good 
uh, this is a good uh, time to ask for some volunteers. Uh, George Jones says, Google ranks your knowledge panel in three aspects, proximity, prominence, and relevance. As critical as GMB categories are, dealers should not think of local SEO in a vacuum. Absolutely, George. The relevance is uh, highly correlated to those categories, but photos, uh, reviews, uh, products and services and posts, meaning how serious you take your GMB. The, the reason why I was uh, laughing at so many dealers have it screwed up is that this is a free listing. And when you go, like there's that one Ford dealer who had Ford dealer chosen. When you add the other nine categories, they get thousands and typically five, 10, 15, 20,000 more impressions per month just by fixing that. So George, it is a huge piece, but when you create a new listing, like a service listing, as a side note, um, it doesn't rank immediately like crazy. You may get a thousand or 1500 impressions right away, but in order to get five to 10,000 impressions for service, you need to get the customer photos and reviews. You need to update your products and services. So right, you shouldn't think it's a vacuum for sure. And here's one other thing to keep in mind is that your Google My Business listing will uh, index content on your website. And I have a client, a new client for Lo Caliente. It's a blowout bar here in Florida. And when, listen, when I did a search for one of the services, the Google My Business listing, listen, the Google My Business listing said that it found the content on the website. Oh, hold on. Are you tell me, Brian, that George's comment could indicate something even more, yeah. If you want to rank for certain keywords and services in your local market, don't think that putting oil change, uh, brake shop, tire shop, wheel alignment in Google My Business, check the box, you're done. You need to have content pages on your website to match those services and that combination is killer. And that's why one of our more popular packages during COVID was our fix stops marketing package where we build out 20 pages just for service. We optimize the Google My Business. We put in a service review program to build up photos and reviews, and we build out the products and services page. You can go to Vera Cadillac or Vera Buick GMC in Florida, and you'll see how beautiful the product galleries look. Let me get back over here. Um, when we talk about uh, SEO here, Look at this, like customer testimonials, maybe a military discount page, a college grad page. I mean, think about this. You have a multi-million dollar business. Now I'm gonna throw out the iframes and I'm gonna throw out the SRPs. So when you look at this, the average car dealer has 10 static pages. And then they wonder why they're always paying the drug of Google ads for search visibility. They're, they're, what they're doing is they're, their website is like a turnstile that pages are coming on and going off and coming on and going off and coming on and going off. Now, for example, if I was a Ford dealer in Texas and you say, hey, Brian, man, we just don't sell Fords. We sell a lot of used cars and we sell Chevy Silverados and we sell Toyota Tundras. How many Ford dealers have a dedicated Chevy Silverado page on their website or a Toyota Tundra page? They don't because they don't think like that. Like they have this multi-million dollar business and they're like, oh, my website company should take care of it. No, that's not their job. Their job is to provide you with a template and the ability for you to create content, but you're not doing it. So I need some volunteers. Uh, if I don't get some volunteers, I'll just pick on some people that I know that are friends. But uh, my point is, my point is, is that you need to think about your website as dynamic pages and static pages. And if you really want to rank locally, especially in maps, because maps is looking at your website, you need to have additional content. And, and, and that's one of my specialties. I love uh, building a content strategy for the auto dealers that we serve. And of course, Lo Caliente does outside of automotive. How about some volunteers? Who wants to be so 
uh, bold and brave. Okay, so since um, we don't have any bold and brave people, let me just do a couple of quick little searches right now because, you know, hey, I'm not afraid of, of uh, messing with people that I love uh, because it's all about, you know, doing the nice things. And let me just do this. Rosalia. near me and uh, let's do Boca, Boca Raton, Boca Raton. Okay, great, <laughs> you're gonna love this. Okay, so let me go back to my stream yard. Let me bring in uh, a share screen. I'm gonna do a Chrome tab, okay. Uh, are you guys ready for something cool? Are you guys ready for something cool? Uh, talk to me now. Um, what I want you to see here, uh, and, and just in case you didn't believe me, I did Brazilian blowout Boca Raton. This is new client. Do you notice that the blowout parlor showed up uh, in the top of the search map? Um, but do you see their website mentions Brazilian blowout? I, I, I hope this is a breakthrough moment for somebody. There isn't a category in Google My Business that's Brazilian blowout, okay? Unless you're talking about uh, a Brazilian car racer whose tire blew out. But what we're talking about here, Google knows that it's a hair salon and it's offering blowout bar services. But the GMB didn't have the exact category Brazilian blowout, but it's in that hair salon or beauty salon category. Google knows these keyword associations. I want you to see that Google specifically called out the content on their website. I also want you to see that in the last person, they specifically called out a review. Oh, come on, somebody, Somebody got to give me an amen. Somebody got to help me here. Come on. Um, do you see what I'm saying? Does anybody uh, have a little breakthrough moment right there? You're saying, Brian, you're demonstrating proof positive that content on the website is even impacting the ranking of Google Maps. Hmm. Now you're wondering why. Hey, how come when someone's typing for... Toyota Tundra tires or Toyota Tundra batteries or, well, you don't have any content on your website that's talking like that. But Brian, if we get a Toyota Tundra in, if they need a new battery, that's a really good uh, potential repair order. Or Toyota Tundra wheel alignment. Oh, Brian, if we get a Tundra in, that's a good, uh, oh, okay, Where where's the content? On your Toyota service listing, you can put wheel alignment service. Google will know that. But when someone types in Toyota Tundra wheel alignment, how do you show up? Especially if you're in a crowded market with very few Toyota dealers that have any real content. I mean, like have built out the content. Hmm. Would you like to see some more? Let, let, let's, let's do a little more. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to open up a window. I'm going to go to Keating Nissan because uh, Jennifer is always uh, willing to learn. So let me just do a Chrome tab and I'm going to do Keating Nissan. Uh, and let's just see. No, here I am, Keating Nissan. I'm going to go to their website. And, and this is, I'm just trying to show you the need for content. So here, here's new vehicles. Right, and these are all uh, basic SRP pages. Take a look over on the right here, okay? Uh, new inventory, new specials. I told you, value your trade, finance app. There's the grad program, there's the military, okay? We've got some reviews here, some uh, content, very rare. Let's take a look at the specials. What did I tell you? Look at the finance, what did I tell you? Same pages, right? Nissan military, Nissan college graduate. Let's go to service. How many dedicated service pages are there? Well, there's a battery page, brakes, express service, oil chains, Nissan tires. So what I tell you about five service pages, let's see what the brakes page looks like. Okay, has some content here, 
as a form. This is an image with a video, very little text, very, very little text. Will this index well? Well, let's take a look by right clicking on the page and do view page source. Let's look at the page title. And here it is, Nissan breaks Keating Nissan. Oh, I'm not happy there. Uh, I'm not happy. I'm not. I'm not happy there at all. I'm not happy. Hold on. I think I have to share my whole screen so for you to see that again. Hold on. In order to see that, I got to share my whole screen. Here it is. Here's the source page. Nissan brakes. Keating Nissan. Yeah. See, there was the break page. I hit view source, Nissan brakes, Keating Nissan. Hmm. Do you think people are typing in Nissan brakes when they need their brakes done? Wouldn't you want to say uh, maybe Nissan brakes service and the city? Did you notice there was no city? There was no geo targeting. Do people type in Nissan brakes? Don't they probably type in Nissan brake pads or Nissan brake service? Wouldn't there be a city? Oh, so it's not just having the pages is make sure they have the right page structure. They have the right page title. They have enough content to be relevant. Uh, Terrebonne Ford Huma LA. Okay, we got, we got a volunteer. Man, that's good. Thank you. Thank you for... Uh, let's try that. Thank you, Roman. You are a brave soul. You are a brave soul. So um, let me uh, share my screen. Uh, I think I'm going to share my whole screen, entire screen, because uh, I want to uh, do the spy here. Okay. So uh, Tara, Vaughn, uh, Ford, and Huma. There it is. Here it is. Okay. All right. Uh, so can I do GMB spy here? No, I have to do it. Uh, go to maps. Here we go. Go to maps. All right. Terrebonne forward. I think I can do it now. Oh, so that, let me see. What is this Terrebonne Ford in what town? Louisiana, Huma. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, Ford dealers, Huma, Louisiana. Let's see what that works out here. Let's do it here. Maps. Let's see if that works. There we go. Terrebonne Fall. Whoop. I double click that. Terrebonne Ford. Now let's see if the GMB spy is working. Okay, here we go. Ford dealer, yes. Auto repair shop, fail. Car dealer, yes. Car loan, yes. Car leasing, yes. Car rental agency. I would make that a separate GMB listing. Truck accessory store, yes. Truck dealer, used car dealer, used truck dealer. Perfect. Um, car rental agency. If you have a car rental agency like uh, Avis or uh, National, I'd make that a separate listing. Uh, I would take auto repair shop out for sure. Um, remember, you're a car manufacturer. You have car accessories and truck accessories. So um, that's one, you know, little piece. Whoa, look at that. That's so crazy. Okay, let's go to the website for a minute and check the content out. Okay, so here is the website. Let's look at service. One page, service specials, four rewards, service advice. Okay, here's some brake advice, tire. Let's look at oil change advice. We have some pages here. Okay, look, these look uh, like a little uh, coupon. Lots of text here, so much better. Um, so let's see, parts, collision, finance, buy in 60, first responder, good. I like Live Connect, manager specials. Okay, but what I don't, let's see, new vans, all new Ford Bronco. Let's see, we got a nice page here. Good. Let's see what else. Mustang Mach E. Great. Okay, so this site looks like it probably has 20 static pages, 20 static pages. Um, but here's my thought. Um, is that, is that uh, you know, all we can do, right? 
Uh, is there opportunity for improvement? I saw four service pages. There should be 20. Uh, I like the fact that your four GMB listing was pretty close. Remember, you got to keep the service listings for the service page. Okay. Service listings, uh, the service categories for the service GMB, the parts categories for the parts GMB, right? That's exactly what uh, you need to be doing. Um, let me just go to a Ford dealer that I was looking at. Uh, let me see what they were. Oh, I can't even remember. Okay, so I'm going to forget. I was just working on a deck. Well, maybe I can look here. Hold on. Um, let me kill my deck. And let's see who I was just working with. Open recent. Ah, oh, Tim Brook, Buick GMC. Let's go there. Tim Brook, uh, Buick GMC. Okay, great, great, great. Um, and let me uh, share that screen. Chrome tab, uh, Tim Brook, Buick GMC. Okay. Um, so. Um, when, when you're looking at uh, dealerships uh, listings, you, you see, you know, people should be having product carousels, right? Okay, should be having posts on a, a regular basis. Um, take a look at Vera Cadillac. Vera Cadillac. Cadillac. That's, here we go. You know, take, take, Take a look at, um, let's look at their service center. Service center, here we go. Look at how nice these products look. Isn't that nice? Doesn't that look nice? These are all GM approved photos, descriptions with links right to their website with the right UTM tags. The, the reason why I bring this up is that um, there's tremendous SEO capabilities that dealers are not locking in. We need more static content pages on their website. We need to make sure GMB is optimized and then we have to have a concerted effort to merge the objectives of Google Maps with the website. The other day, a dealer in uh, Brooklyn showed me their GMB listing. They got over 3,000 phone calls a month. 3,000. Now, of course, you know, Brooklyn, Manhattan is, is a pretty dense area. But guess what? They didn't have their listing even fully optimized. <laughs> Could you imagine uh, going from 3,000 to 4,000 or 5,000 phone calls in 30 days just by showing up more often? It's possible. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do the lunch and learn today is just very simple. When you look at the number of pages on your website, you have a multi-million dollar business. You have hundreds of employees or dozens of employees, but the financial investment to run a car dealership is immense. And most dealers have 10 to 20 static pages. That's it. Every other page gets killed every 30 or 60 days. Does anybody, does, it, does a light bulb go off? Did I resonate with anybody here about the difference between dynamic pages and static pages and the challenge of trying to rank for certain keywords without more static pages, relevant content that looks good on mobile, that loads quickly, that is in partnership with your Google, my business objectives. When you think of the 10 primary categories that you pick in your Google, my business listing for service, at least to have those 10 pages is a must. And then as you add products and services to your Google My Business listing, doesn't that make sense that those products and services have appropriate landing pages on your website? And what about your sales listing? Shouldn't your product carousel, if you have one, uh, list all the models of your cars and have static pages by model that are not getting killed every year? Has anybody thought about that? Why wouldn't you have a, a static Chevy Silverado page and a Chevy Equinox page that never ever gets killed. Right now you have 20, you know, 2020 Silverado page killed, then it goes to 2021 Silverado page killed. Am I am I resonating with anybody today? 
you know, sometimes when you do live stream, you, you have to uh, feel very confident in yourself because people just listen or don't listen or they watch later. Um, but I wanted to just encourage you that if you see what I see, as dealers have reimagined their business, they've implemented new cost savings for labor and digital retailing has helped uh, streamline communication. The, the last yard that dealers really need to get in is take responsibility for owning a content strategy for the local market that doesn't change, doesn't die. A great dealer, I mean, why wouldn't you have 100 pages of static content? Well, what would I do? Well, I would have a dedicated page for every model I sold. I would have a dedicated page for the top used cars that I sell. As I mentioned, a Ford dealer, they're, they're definitely selling Dodge Rams and they're selling Ford F-150s and they're selling Toyota Tundras. And, you know, why wouldn't you have a dedicated page with great content that you get in great vehicles on trade that could dynamically show your current inventory. And if the current inventory, if you don't have one right now, that's okay. All the content itself will be sufficient enough to start ranking. And guess what? The page never dies. What percentage of dealers in the United States have sufficient content to really maximize their local search visibility for free? I would say less than 5%. I could talk about it till I'm blue, but dealers don't like to spend money on content because they don't see immediate results. And I'm telling you, you know, when dealers are spending five, 10, 15, 20, $30,000 a month in pay per click advertising, let alone a few more thousands on social and a few more thousand on video and this and that. And then I say, but it's just a, a, like a gerbil on a wheel. Cars come in, cars come out, cars come in, cars come out, cars come in, cars come out, service is such an important part of your business and you have five service pages and those service pages suck. Hmm. Maybe I know that, uh, the Nissan car guy, he gave me three light bulbs. The bottom line is you need a partner to create this content because the average dealer doesn't, um, really have the time or expertise to do it. Michelle asked a great question. Let's see what she says. Does adding videos to these static pages help with ranking? For example, how to hook up my Bluetooth video as a static page. Okay, great, great. Remember, there's many different ranking factors. Okay, so um, mobile speed, uh, engagement, uh, structure, right? Does it have the right structured content? Um, sometimes people think that adding a video on a page screws up load time and it really doesn't. Uh, you can embed those videos, whether you use, um, Wistia, which has really structured, good keyword, rich video embedding tools or YouTube, uh, video helps with engagement. So I will tell you this, when you're driving traffic to a page, the quality score, a lot has to do with, uh, obviously, does the page match the keyword that you're buying? Uh, is the content seem relevant? And does the person engage? You get someone to spend an extra minute or two on a page because it has a relevant video. It helps, um, it helps with your paid search campaigns, but it also uh, helps with your engagement scores. What, what I would say is you want to make sure if you're going to do a content strategy that the pages are educational, right? I mean, that's the, that's uh, Nirvana, right? That everything is really uh, not done for the search engines, but it's really a value because the consumer sees its value. So yes, videos can be extremely important. For example, um, I, I demonstrated this a number of times over the years, but I wrote a page, a Subaru key replacement. And every month for this dealer, it gets hundreds and hundreds of visits to their website. I prove, I, what, what I wanted to prove is that just because you can write content doesn't mean that all your organic traffic is helping you sell cars. Um, so expect when you have Expect when you're the only Nissan dealer or Toyota dealer or Ford dealer in the entire state that invested in the, you hear me right, in the entire state that has a serious content strategy, you're going to get uh, traffic from all over the country.
don't worry about it. it there's nothing bad about that. You, you want to make sure you're ranking locally as well. George said, many dealerships uh, sites, static pages recycle the same content. It's important to make sure that you just don't create more content, but better content. Great, great, George. We are absolutely aligned here. Yes, it's, it's um, dealers say, well, how much, you know, why should I spend on content? Why can't I just copy it from someone else? And, you know, listen, there's a fine line. Most dealers have a lot of duplicate content because they have the specs for a new vehicle. Everyone has the specs. And if you looked at like a plagiarism tool, they would say, oh, this is plagiarized. Okay. What I'm talking about is the sentence structure, the localization, and the original content or thought content that's not just a search and replace by city and state. You need to have good content. But in scale, right, a lot of the website companies uh, just have templates. They have a replaceable variable. You put in your dealership name and the two or three cities that you want to target. And the website is updated in two seconds. It's the exact same content for every dealer, but it is uh, updated. Um, searching most dealer sites using the site search operator show a, uh, on average a couple thousand results. Why does adding another 50 to 100 pages make a difference? Oh, Rick, man, come on. Let's uh, let's throw, let's throw do a little throwdown. Anybody want me to do a little throwdown here? Um, let's go to Terrebonne Ford for a minute. Let's do, uh, let's have a little fun with Rick because Rick's my buddy. And so I can, I can, it's a great question. Uh, let me just get this queued up in my search browser. Okay. All right. So uh, let me share a page. By the way, is anybody having a good time today on the Lunch and Learn? I, I'm taking time out of my day to, to share some stuff. So I'm hope, hoping you're enjoying it. Okay. Um, here we go. There we go. Okay. So everyone should see my screen. Let's just see how that looks. Okay. That looks good. Um, what I what you can do and what Rick is saying is if you put the site command, look in the URL, S-I-T-E colon in front of any website URL, Google will tell you how many pages are there. Now, here's the key. Rick is saying there's 1,950 results. Okay. And um, so he's asking a very good question. Brian, why, sh why should 50 or 100 uh, pages uh, count? Because you're, this is a false friend. This is a false friend. Now let's just go through the pages. Uh, let's go to like at page seven level here. Notice um, new vehicles, Terrebonne Ford, Ford Ranger, Ranger XL, Terrebonne Ford. Look at the URL structure, inventory, new vehicles. Look at the URL structure, inventory, new vehicles. Look at this, Ranger XLT, inventory, new vehicles. It's the same, you, let me show you. You want me to keep on doing this? Come on. Um, Inventory new vehicles. Oh, 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 Brian, Brian, I'm still, I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. These are SRPs that are being indexed. So when you have a dynamic search engine, remember these websites aren't real websites that push out pages, right? These, these are by dynamically driven pages. So when the search bot goes through the sites, um, depending on how the dealer has some preset models and links, they run through these SRPs. So Rick, what this is, is Google looking through SRPs and whatever the check boxes were, right? It could have been an SRP. It's the same page, by the way, it has no content. It just, at that time, it was an XLT, and then it was a Ranger, and then it was an F-150. Do you understand, since they're dynamically generated, the Googlebot thinks that they're different pages. Remember, you had menu choices, right? Right? Remember the menu? So, like, if you're a Ford dealer, you can have all your models. And, well, every one of those hyperlinks is a dynamic page. It's the same SRP, but when they do that search, it forces a new page. So you don't have thousands of pages. That's that's why some dealers get so like, and you asked the perfect question. I could have couldn't believe it. It was like, Brian, what would 
what would 30 or 50 pages more of content do? It would kick the, the competitions, but because all those other pages, Rick, have no real specific keyword goal. They're a universal page. They're an SRP with changing titles and descriptions. Uh, Video is great content, but don't forget to include the transcript. Yes, George. Uh, Google's ranking algo has no way yet understanding what the video is all about. Adding a transcript on the page gives your algo a lot more to work with. Yes, and also the structured schema. Wistia does a good job of putting some schema tags on the type of video and the classification of the video. So when you embed, uh, that's why I always like playing around with Wistia. They had a, I would think, a stronger SEO structured schema insert around that embed uh, box. So Rick, man, you answer, you you asked an amazing question. Those search results are false friends. It's because these websites really are boxes that when a query comes in, it ejects a new page, but the page frame is exactly the same. Do you understand what I'm saying? Does everyone understand that? An SRP could be indexed 1,000 times or 2,000 times because of the menu structure, the hyperlinks, how you've built model-specific links. If you have links anywhere that say, here, here are the 2018 Tundras and the 2019 Tundras, and here's the... You, you with me? All you're doing is linking to the SRP with a um, past variable. Those are all getting indexed, but they have very little structured content and they change and can disappear depending on inventory. Now, if you've ever done a study of car gurus or cars.com or auto trader, they know this darn well. And that's why there's, one of the reasons that cars.com is such an awesome destination for searches and often very highly ranked is because of the content. You know, they can get millions, millions of views on an annual report or something like that. They, they know that they have to do more than just the listing of pages. There's a whole SEO structure to it. So, that's what I wanted to talk to you about on Lunch and Learn. Why are we continually spending month after month after month after month on paid search and social media and video when your website has 10, maybe max 20 static pages? Don't use the site command as a false friend by saying, hey, I got 2,000 index pages, I'm crushing it. False friend, false friend. You do the count of how many static pages are on your website. And you'll be blown away that you have a multi-million dollar business and you haven't decided to have 50 or 100 permanent static pages of great content based on the models that you sell. You know what they are. The competitive conquest models that you want to bring in and buy. And the vehicles that you service and the most profitable types of service. Hmm. So, um, if you're looking for a competent partner to build out a killer SEO strategy, there's only a few of us really in the industry that have demonstrated the ability to build a competent GMB strategy matched with a content strategy. We're going to be talking about SEO at the Automotive Analytics and Attribution Summit for sure, but that's in November. And uh, content takes a while to build. If you really want to hit 2021, uh, if you really want this last quarter to be a much stronger result, if you want to start building and earning more local, hyper-local traffic, you really need to take your GMB seriously and your content, static content, not just content. As uh, George said, great static content. So I'll put my email address in uh, the transcript here for the Lunch and Learn if you would love to talk about uh, building content and a stronger SEO strategy, um, if you think that building out an SEO strategy is like, you know, 500 bucks a month, don't even call. No, no need to have that call. You know, if you want competent content added, say, Brian, I, I, you know, I want five pages a month or 10 pages a month. I want to really build this out and I want to commit to a long-term 
building out a solid foundation. So as the inventory pages die, I still have a solid foundation. If that resonates with you, reach out to me. We can have a talk. I've been doing it for 15 years and uh, it's amazing how many dealers uh, just cheap out on what could be, you know, the, the, the missing link for understanding why independents outrank them for service for sure. And why they're constantly fighting for positioning against third party classifieds and local competitors. It's just that their site is nothing but a turnstile of, inventory with no real other consumer facing content that would give a consumer or Google any reason to index the website. And that is an opportunity for everyone. And that's why I love these lunch and learns. Um, can you give me some feedback? What do you think about the lunch and learn? A lot of people watch these lunch and learns later. And of course they're online uh, for a little while, uh, but I'd love to get some feedback for you before I go grab a sandwich. I have a, PCG client webinar at 3.30. I'm really excited to be talking about some new video OTT strategies. Hey, Sean, how are you? Thanks for joining the Lunch and Learn. Remember, as soon as the live stream is done, the video will take a few minutes and then it will be available on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube uh, forever. Uh, so Rick Buffman's giving me some thumbs up and a fist pump. Come on, Rick, I just showed you what a false friend the site command is. Now the site command is excellent for quickly looking at how crappy your page titles are on the static pages and, and many times they're just horrible. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping that everyone got a lot out of this uh, event. Stephanie said, thank you, Brian. Good, thank you so much. Remember, I don't have to do these. Uh, I love educating. I wanna build the next generation of automotive marketing leaders. And of course, uh, love to lead the industry and in thought leadership when it comes to automotive uh, digital marketing. Uh, George, thank you for those words of encouragement. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, just want to remind everyone, Automotive Analytics and Attribution Summit in November, it's three-day event, 16, 17, 18. If you buy your ticket in September, you get my free, well, you get my Google My Business training course for sales and service for free. So. Um, it's a $300 value. So you basically go to the conference for free. Uh, one or the other. So uh, you can just go to automotiveattributionsummit.com. I'll just put that in the live stream links uh, because that's always a good reference to have here. Let's just put it in the live stream links as well. Okay. So that's the site. Uh, purchase a ticket. This is three days of amazing content from the thought leaders in automotive on marketing, video, websites, digital retailing, modern communication strategies, SEO, social media, measurements. Wow. We got it all from website companies to call tracking companies to marketing automation companies, AI, everything for automotive and marketing and measurement and sales process is is going to be at the attribution summit so don't miss it it's november and you get a bonus early bird ends september 30th so if you lock in your early bird you also get the free course that's up to you otherwise there's no other discounts on price after october 1st you pay full boat uh, that's just the way we work so uh, thanks so much and i hope you'll join me in a future lunch and learn if we're not connected on linkedin make sure you do that today have a great day and I'm gonna go have some lunch.